Welcome back, everybody. So um, I am sharing with you today the second in the series of gift card and money holders um, that I had done as part of a class with Ready, Set, Crop. Um, I've already shared the um, video for the um, first gift card holder, which is this one. And today we're going to do the um, process video for this second gift card holder. So let me move these other pieces out of the way and let's get started. So to make this, I used the Silver Bells collection from Close to My Heart um, and the, the coordinating cardstock. And I also used some stamped images with the Silver Bells card making kit, I'm sorry, card making stamp set and thin cuts, stamped some in toffee and some in charcoal, and gave them a little bit of color, some subtle color using the Colorista pencils. Now, um, I'm going to, uh, I said in the last video, I'm going to say it here. I will have a link with the, on this video description to the blog posts with each of these pieces. And there'll also be a link on the blog post to a downloadable PDF with full instructions on how to cut your paper and your cardstock. And I also want to repeat that when you do cut your paper and cardstock, it is the best thing to do is to put it into the piles of what project it goes with. That way you can kind of keep the pieces from getting mixed up. We I did taught this class at a recent retreat and my own error got a few pieces mixed up on my own. So I want to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. So um, what we're going to do, this is a fold out gift card holder. So it's fairly easy to assemble and I want to tell you that this base to it is five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is a great one for mailing to somebody. It's going to fit into your perfect um, card envelope um, that we have with our card envelopes and bases. And it's good, but I will recommend if you're doing the embellishing and you're using any kind of foam tape like I do, you're going to want to make sure that you do the um, additional postage. There's a stamp called a non-machinable surcharge stamp. And what that does is it just means that they're not going to throw your card through a machine. It's going to get more hand walked, which is a lot nicer. So it won't get wrecked going through the postal service machines. So let's get started. And you're going to, I'm going to uh, remind you also, you're going to need some strong adhesive a regular adhesive. You'll need some scissors and you're going to need your cutting system with a scoring blade or you're going to need um, a scoring platform. So I and also we do use, I used a one inch punch. You can use a one and a quarter, one and a half inch punch to punch a notch for your gift card holder. And I also use some platinum stickles to decorate the stamped elements from this. So this is very, this one's very quick and easy. I am, we have several pieces. We have our card base. We have our matted, our paper to mat the base. We have our fold out piece. And then we have our various pieces of pattern paper and cardstock that we're gonna to use to decorate this. This one, again, pretty easy. We're going to basically take this and we're going to score it um, at, this is a piece that's four inches by nine and three quarters inches. We're basically scoring it into thirds. So I'm going to do this on the back side for this. We're going to, but you can do it on whatever side it works with because the, with the two tone cardstock, um, and the white core, just be careful. Cause sometimes when you do a score line, you will sometimes see the white showing through for our first score is going to be at the three and a quarter inch line. And our second score, I'm going to move this out, is going to be at six and a half. And also, if you want to, you could always have just taken the paper, flipped it around, and scored at three and a quarter on the other side. So it's basically doing this into thirds. So now when you fold this, because it is a fold out, you're going to want what we kind of call one mountain fold and one valley fold. So your top fold is a mountain fold. And I'm going to just use my fingers. You can use a bone folder. And the bottom fold is a valley. And this basically puts this into the thirds that you need for your pullout piece. So the next step we're going to do, we're going to finish decorating this particular piece before we adhere it to its base, is we're going to do our pocket. Now for the pocket piece, I'm going to take my circle punch, kind of line it up, eyeball it. You could mark it, make marks with pencil if you wish. And I'm just going to punch 
my paper for my notch just like that now i'm going to use my strong tape i t recommend using a strong adhesive tape because you are going to be putting a gift card in this and you're going to do this tape on three sides of your pocket piece i just find that using a stronger adhesive um, tape works better because that way you don't have to worry about it coming apart and then when I go to put this on and I shared this in the last video when I was making the pocket for the first gift card I always do the bottom piece first I'm gonna turn it to its side it's a little easier so I'm gonna put the bottom line on and then I try to kind of hold a little bit of finger give a little bit of lift to it as I put the rest of it down so that my gift card will slide easily in and out. So there's my pocket. Now I'm going to adhere my sentiment layer to the middle piece. And then my top, I'm going to mat my piece of pattern paper to my mink cardstock piece. And then adhere this to the very top layer. And then I am going to take and decorate this with a piece of zip strip. I love zip strips. Everybody who's taken my classes knows that I really appreciate having them because they just give such interesting options to use them to as an additional layer on a scrapbook layout, additional strip, or you can do them to add any kind of flags, little pennants to your pieces. And then I'm going to add, decorate with my, and now I'm using some foam tape on this. And then my sentiment banner. And I'm going to take, and now I'm going to adhere my mat piece. And you could use the different sides of the pattern paper from what I did. I've just, I kind of like this combination of patterns. So it's this, that it there. And then I'm going to go on the back side of the very bottom, and I'm going to put, again, I'm using strong tape, just my preference. And, and I'm going to adhere this, and again, some of these things are just kind of my preference on how I do these. And I do want to also say that all of these gift card ideas or things that I found on Pinterest and just kind of adapted to push, put them all together in a cl one class. So I'm going to center this on the base. And there's my fold out card. Now I'm going to, I'll just add this while I've got you guys with my video, is I'm just using some platinum stickles to decorate my bell and my ornament with leaves, just for some added, a little bit of bling on these gift card holders. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but we give a lot of gift cards at the holidays. And I'm always looking for some fancy way to kind of give them to people. So here we go. There's your fold out gift card holder. And it's our second in our series. And I hope you guys, if you enjoy these, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you hop over to my blog and will subscribe to my blog. So you get additional updates of other classes that I offer. And um, you can see the layouts that I do. And I thank you guys for joining me.